Hello students, uh, let us try to understand how to write the chemical or the molecular formulae of any compound. This method which we are going to study today is commonly known as the crisscross method which you will see in your books and the basic requirement for doing this crisscross method of writing a chemical formula is that you require the symbols of elements or radicals that make up any compound. So you need to learn the symbols and uh, symbols of radicals and symbols of elements before you do this crisscross method. And second thing that required is the valency of elements or radicals. So if you have the information about these two, it is very easy to write uh, formulae by a simple crisscross method. Now this is the step by step procedure followed for writing uh, any chemical formula. The Three major steps which are followed is that you first need to write the radicals. That means whether it's a basic radical or an acidic radical. Then you need to write the symbol and valency of the radicals without putting their signs. You do not put the plus or the minus sign of radicals. And finally, you interchange the valency and you come to the conclusion of getting the final formula. Here I have taken just one example to give an, uh, a very simple illustration. And in the forthcoming videos, you will get a detailed explanation of how you do the crisscross method for writing any chemical formulae. So the first step and the simplest example that I've taken is of sodium chloride, which is commonly known as common salt. Sodium chloride has two radicals. Basic radical is sodium and the acidic radical is chloride radical. Now the second step that we follow is you write the symbol and valency of the element or the radical. The valency and the symbol of sodium is sodium has a symbol Na and its valency is 1. We always write the valency on top. That means as a subscript, as a, sorry, as a superscript. You do not write it below. So this is the first step and you need to be very, very particular about this step. Second is acidic radical present is chloride, which is written as Cl is its symbol and its valency is 1. The next step that we follow is that you write the same elements or the same radicals as it is. But you do not write the valency. This time in the next step, you interchange the valency. Interchanging means this is the reason we also, the, uh, why we call it as a crisscross method because the valencies are getting crisscrossed. Valency of sodium, which was one, uh, which was written in the superscript, now comes as a subscript for chlorine, for the chloride radical. And the one valency, one of the chloride radicals comes down here as a subscript for sodium. So this is written as Na1 and this is written as Cl1. So we have done a crisscross putting arrows. In the final answer we do not put this one because if we do not write this one it still means it is 1. So the final answer becomes NaCl. This is how we come to the conclusion of writing a chemical formula by three simple steps. Writing the radicals, then writing the symbol and valency of the radical, interchanging the valency and finally the final formula. In the preceding videos, I will explain you in detail taking specific examples for formula making. Thank you.